Peace lovies, it's Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with another Eating Mindfully video. Went grocery shopping, so decided to do a haul. As you know, I am on an alkaline diet journey that I have just embarked upon and found this international market nearby that has so many goodies that I haven't been able to find in the organic market that I typically shop at. So I was so excited and thought I'd just do a quick video to show you some of the goodies that I got. got these prickly pears. Um, I saw a video where someone made like a juice. Uh, Grabani, I think that's his name. I don't know if you follow him on YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to actually try that recipe that he made on there because that juice looked divine. Got some lime. and got these grape tomatoes. Now I got this from the organic market I normally go to, but of course grape tomatoes are just excellent. Tomatoes, grape and plum that you can use that are um, alkaline. So I typically get this kind. And I also saw um, these oyster mushrooms at the international market. I typically, if I do buy this, I don't buy them that often, but if I typically do get these from the organic market. I haven't really tried them from this international market before. So, not sure <laughs> about these it said organic i hope they actually are because i don't always trust places just because they have that on there i don't know i normally get them for the organic market and hopefully these are okay but you know i just figured i'd try them and my favorite brazil nuts oh my gosh y'all i just eat these all the time these are my favorite snack rich in selenium high in magnesium, copper, zinc, highly anti-inflammatory, omega-3 fatty acids, just everything you need. This this Brazil nuts has it. Minerals like copper, magnesium, calcium, uh, potassium, everything. Um, same with walnuts. Walnuts, I use these for everything. A great source of antioxidants. Um, and omega-3 fatty as well. I use these for tacos, as you know, and just anytime I want some kind of meats, uh, like something like a meaty texture, I use my walnuts. So I use these, like they have to stay in my house all the time. So pretty much I get these when I go to the grocery store because we are always running out quickly. Also avocado is, oh my gosh, avocado. Run out of those like crazy. <laughs> Every time I go to the store, I have to buy some avocado. Um, I got these from the international market as well. Typically, again, I get these from the organic market, but I was at it was cheaper at the international market, and hopefully they're okay. But you know, just wanted to try them. And of course, now I went to the organic market initially to buy these burrow bananas because um, you know I use the I kind of get these I guess every two weeks I get like this you know a couple of bunches of them. Um, uh, we don't eat them all the time, all the time, but sometimes, you know, like if I make the burgers or I want some home fried potatoes, something like that, I'll use these burrow bananas for that. They're low in starch. And these burrow bananas, if you don't know, are the most natural banana that you can find on the entire earth, okay? It is very alkaline, of course, um, very natural. There's no hybrid modifications or breeding done to it. So these, if you wanna get all natural, these are the way to go, definitely. You won't get more natural than <laughs> these burrow bananas. You all, oh my gosh, was I ever so surprised to see some seeded grapes. Oh my gosh, like I've been looking everywhere for seeded grapes. I thought you couldn't find them anymore and that they were gone from the face of the earth. I just could not find any, but I found some at this international market. I'm so hooked. Okay, I will be going there all the time, if anything, just so I can get some daggone seeded grapes. Like why is, is there a conspiracy to hide the seeded grapes or, you know, <laughs> like discontinue the seeded grapes? What the hell is going on? I mean, literally you cannot find seeded grapes anywhere. So I was so, so excited when I found these at the international market. You have no idea. I got two bags. I was like, <laughs> I was so excited when I found them. Yes, I grabbed two big old bags. I don't even know how much I spent. I probably spent a pretty penny because I was just so excited when I saw 
the seeded grapes. I haven't had grapes in so long. They're one of my favorite fruit and I just had to have them. So yes, grab those. And then when, when I left the international market, I did go to the organic market, grab some yellow squash because I always kind of need those sometime as well. They have a very good alkaline pH level of 7.5. Again, like everything else, high in antioxidants, um, particularly beta carotene, just everything good about these. I love that they help fight against chronic diseases, diabetes, um, cardiovascular disease, certain cancers, all that good stuff. But yeah, this is kind of my favorite kind of squash to get. I get them all the time. And oh my gosh, I decided to try these, I guess you call them enoki mushroom. I seen, I'd seen some videos, a few actually on Someone made like a like fake like chicken <laughs> with these and I wanted to actually try it. So I grabbed some of these from the internet, well, not the international market, I'm sorry. I grabbed these from the organic market. Um, so I will definitely keep you posted and let you know how that goes. It's just something I wanted to try because I, I don't think I, it's funny, I think they are at the organic market all the time, but I just hadn't noticed them before. So I noticed them this time, so I grabbed some. Then I also picked up two big old um, bunches of kale because we use those all the time. And my kale, oh my gosh, you all, my kale in my garden is like going so slow. I don't know, I think something is wrong. I'm trying to identify what's going on with it. It's like the growth of it is stunted. So I've been having to buy kale, even though by now I intended to be able to just use the kale from my garden, but it's growing really slow. I think honestly, it's the place I bought this seed from because the other seeds I got from there are struggling as well. So I think actually I got bad seed. Probably have to find another comment below if you know some of a good source of non-GMO organic seeds that I can, um, a website that I can go to because I am desperate to find some good one, not this fake stuff because this, I don't know what the heck this is that I bought, but these, everything I bought is not growing. It's like so annoying. But you know, that's the struggle out here. It's all, it's so difficult to find like real healthy, organic, non-GMO food. I don't know what the hell it's like. I don't know. It's like mission impossible. <laughs> and so I mean, when I find stuff, I'm so excited, but it's like when I can't find something, I'm just like going off and it's really difficult, but um, hopefully I can get the seed again comment below if you know of somewhere I would greatly greatly appreciate it like some reputable place to buy some good seed because this is annoying as heck like my garden of course it's doing well there's other stuff in the garden that are doing well it's just not where um it's not anything that I bought that the seed from so yeah I gotta get some good seeds so anyway help me out you all I really will appreciate it if you do um you know try the alkaline diet I know I keep pumping this thing but the alkaline diet is where it's at you know I mean it just you just can't beat it it helps with everything mortality rate you know um it lowers your risk of chronic diseases, hypertension, diabetes, arthritis, you name it. Um, it helps with the cancer, just everything. Definitely helps with the weight loss. Like, heck, if nothing else, try it for that. <laughs> and then just try it for the goodness of that. If It just feels good to eat this way and to eat food that makes you feel good inside out, you know. Energetically, I feel like it helps. It, it definitely does, you know, lighter, more attuned to your higher self, just more balanced. Alkaline foods are healing on a cellular level. Lifestyle obviously gets you to eat more whole foods, less processed foods, because let's face it, you know, you want to eat to live and you want your food to be your medicine and not need medicine because of the food that you're eating. So this lifestyle is all of that. Thank you all so much for joining me for another Eating Mindfully video. If you enjoyed this content, if you like me bringing you this kind of content, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you know when I post. I love you all bunches as usual. I will see you all next time. Sunflower smooches, peace and love. Mwah.